Hello everyone, myself Nigar Sultana. I welcome you all to RN Digital Learnings. There is no failure. There is no failure. Either you win or you learn. In our previous video, we have learned few problems of calendar. In this video, we are going to learn few more problems of calendar. Do like our video, share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe our channel. Now let's move on to our computer screen. Now let's move on to the next video of the same concept calendar. The first problem of this video is on 8th February 2005. It was Tuesday. 8th Feb 2005 was Tuesday. And what was the day of the week on 8th Feb 2004? Now, the date is same, month is same, only the year differs. Right. Now, this 2004 is a leap year. For a normal year, it there will be one odd day. For a leap year, there will be two odd days. Right. Now, they are talking about the previous year of this 2005. Right. So, now, previous year in the sense minus 2. Why? Because 2 means it is a leap year. 2004 is leap year. So, we are going to subtract this minus 2 from Tuesday. So, what is the value of Tuesday here? So, the Tuesday is 2. Now, 2 minus 2 is 0. What is the 0 indicates in days? 0 means it is Sunday. 0 indicates it is Sunday. Okay. Now let's move on to the next problem. Which of the following is not a leap year? Okay, there are certain steps to find whether the year is a leap year or not. First step is we must check whether it is divisible by 4 or not. If this is true, then move on to the next step that is whether it is divisible by 100 or not. If this is also true, move on to the next step. Whether it is divisible by 400 or not. If all these three cases provide us uh, the value which is true, then it is a leap year. If it does not satisfy any of this step, then it is not a leap year. Now, let us find out this 700. This 700, whether it is divided by 4, Yes, it is exactly divisible. Now, let us check with the 100. Seven, no? 7. Yes, this is also correct. Now, whether it is divisible by 400? No, it is not exactly divisible by 400. Then, this 700 is not leap year. Okay. So, this is our correct answer. Now, this 800. Now, let us verify this all these other options. 800 is divisible by 4? Yes. Whether 800 is divisible by 100? Yes. It is divisible by 400 also. Then it is a leap year. Similarly, let us verify this. 1200 is divisible by 4 also? Yes. With 100 also? Yes. With 400 also. So, this is also a leap year. 2000 is also a leap year because this 2000 is divisible by 4 as well as 100 then 400. Then the option for this is it is 700 which is not a leap year. Next problem states that it was Sunday on 1st Jan 2006. What was the day of the week on Jan 1st 2010? 1st Jan 2006 is Sunday. Now, they are talking about 1st Jan 2010. How to calculate this? So, now, um, it is the starting of the month of 2006. Right? Now, this is a normal year. How many odd days will be there? There will be one odd day. Next, in 2007, this is also an, um, it is not a leap year. Then, it will also will have one odd day. 
2008 it is a leap year so we will have two odd days in 2009 there will be one odd because it's a normal year then 2010 we are talking about the first month so no need to include this 2010 when we add this 1,2,3,4,5 right when we add this 5 days along with this uh, Sunday Sunday means it is 0 plus 5 what is this 0 plus 5? Five. 5 so what is this 5 indicates 5 is nothing but it is Friday this will be Friday Jan 1st 2010 lies on Friday done yes next problem is today is Monday after 61 days it will be what now so today is Monday we know now after 61 days now first let's divide this 61 by 7 because again that day will be the same day as Monday right now what what will be the mod you will get 5 because 8 za 56 remainder is 5 so let's take 5 now from Monday add this 5 what is the value of Monday it is 1 1 plus 5 is 6 what is the 6 6 indicates it is Saturday after 61 days it will be Saturday done it's very easy to find out this last problem of this video Sneha celebrated her wedding anniversary on Tuesday 38 September 1997 when will she celebrate her next wedding anniversary on the same day so now In 1997, there will be how many odd days? 1. Now, we need to get the 7 value. Okay. So, that we will get the same day. In 1998, how many odd days? 1. Next. I am so sorry. Let us start from 9. Now, next. Why I am dividing this by 7? Because there will be 7 days per week. So, it is 1997. Let us start from 1998. There will be how many odd days? 1. 1999, there will be 1 odd day. 2000, 2000 is a leap year. So, there will be 2 odd days. 2001, there will be 1. See, we need to get 7 so that we will get the same day. 2002, there will be one odd day. 2003, there will be one odd day. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Till 2003, we will get the 7. That is, same day will get repeated. 1997 plus 7 odd days. That will give us 2003. Okay. In the year... 2003 next anniversary will be your Tuesday that is 2003 do like our video share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe our channel thank you